Okay, today we're going to assemble a tower of power, which is one of our larger units with a, a clean air delivery rate of right at 500 cubic feet a minute. Um, we have the grills already on, push pins are in the grills. You'll lay your side down. Fans will always go with the guard that comes with built into them on the up against the grill. You want to run your cord out the side. You want to make sure your pins are lined up, maybe barely get them started, and then push down with the heel of your hand to the push pins. Make sure they're seated good. Next we'll do 120 millimeter fan. These larger ones are 140 millimeters. Make sure they're lined up. Getting started. Apply pressure with your heel of your hand. And there we have it. The last 120 millimeter fan. Check and make sure they're all seated. It's best to lay this on, on a tire power on the side to apply the screws. It should have 16 screws to come with it. So we'll just grab our drill. Make sure it's set on the lowest setting, torque-wise. Grab our black melamine. Should have pre-drilled holes already in it. Stick a screw in to get it started. We like to just go in close, but not all the way to finish until we get them all set in there where they belong. Here we have one side. Right over here. Make sure you have the logos on the same end of the melamine. Start your screws. It takes a fairly decent size there to put one of these together. Go ahead and set them all the way in. Now we'll just turn that around where the edge is over the table. Be careful with your wires. There we go. Make sure they're seated all the way down. Now we're ready to prop this. Now we use 1 16th foam on the tire powers. might be easiest to put your fan hubs, your five-way fan hubs, and let's we'll take your top one, plug it into the very top of your hub. You'll notice there's a
a little finger on the bottom of each one of these sections and you'll have a little place for that finger to go whenever you put these together. You might notice there's an extra wire for a four pin. We only use the first two actually for power. So the third and the fourth one are not necessary. You'll have a two way fan hub to connect her. You wanna make sure you do the same thing on it. It has the slot for that to go in. You connect both of those. Then we want to run our bungee cords. Help get our wiring out of the way. It's best to go off of the opposing corner. Tie a knot, just a single overhand knot in the very tip end of your cord. Run it down to not the 140 fans in the middle, but down to the one below another 120 millimeter fan and go in the opposite side in the top corner of it. What you'll do is that'll help stiffen up your connector, pull it through, put some pressure on it, tie a knot in it. We'll do the same thing on the opposite side. to apply an even amount of pressure on the filters to help them stay in place. Run it down to the opposite side here. Make sure your wires are inside. And I'll show you why in just a minute. Put a little tension on it, pull a little waist through there, tie a knot in it. So we have tension there. We'll take uh, some zip ties that are supplied with your unit. And what we'd like to do is put both of the five-way hubs through the tension cord back to back. What this does is it keeps the wires from ever getting caught up into the fans. And this is just to help keep the strain off of the connectors. We'll take the extra zip ties and take the loose wires that are hanging down a little bit. We'll put them in here. We'll tie them to one of the bungee cords. Before we pull it all the way tight, we'll just make sure that we take the slack out as much as possible. Not too tight, but just enough. Pull your zip tie. That should be enough to keep it from really giving you any trouble. We'll take this and do the same thing over on this side. the excess and there we have it next you'll want to apply the foam 116 foam tape all the way around about an eighth inch to a quarter inside the very edge of the unit Take something like a pair of scissors or tuck it nice and tight into the corners. View, start in the corner. Tuck it tight in the corner. Make sure you come across the bottom.
one more time across the top. Apply a little bit of pressure on there, make sure it's sticking good. Next, we'll want to test our fans before we put the filters in. And we have our tire power almost assembled here. Before we finish finish it up here, we want to always make sure to check, make sure the power is working, make sure the fans are working. So we've got our outlet. Plug it in. Well, the fans are running, almost blowed me away. Uh, something that might be handy when you go to put your filters in, these filters have an arrow on them to show which way the air flows. They're always sucking in and blowing out. So, what we have a variance sometimes in the filters are just cardboard. Sometimes they're a little snug. That's why we added the foam. Something that's very handy is like a thin putty knife to make sure you get it in to the foam. You just cut in there and push on it. The filters give a little bit. Make sure you're back to the, past the outer edge of the box. That way you have protection against your filters. They're not hanging out. And there you go. A complete tire power do-it-yourself kit.